Hello, I'm Mike Jones. I'm the leader of your new council, Cheshire West and Chester. This council is replacing the four existing councils and in doing so we are not looking to recreate any of the existing councils in the way they do things. We are looking on building on best practice and creating a new council with a new culture and a new way of doing things. Something that's fresh, lively, innovative and creative and exciting. Something that the members can be proud of and you as residents can be proud of being associated with. We are looking at how our members can integrate themselves and become involved, fully involved, in your communities to work with and support you in living and improving your quality of life. We want our members to be champions within their communities and in doing so you'll see following on from this uh, short interviews with your ward councillors so that you can recognise who they are. They're making commitments and promises to be more involved in your community and to assist you and your community groups in delivering those improvements within your communities. My name is Brian Clark. I've lived and worked in the town of Winsford uh, for the last 40 odd years working at the salt mine and I've been a councillor for the last 19 years. And I'm Pam Boer. I uh, was born and bred in Winsford. Uh, my hometown, I went to school in Winsford, so have my children and grandchildren are coming up as well. They we will be going to school in the town. So I've known the town, a long, lived in the town a long time and my own, all my family have been here, so know the people very well. And I've been on the county council for nine years, on the borough council for 23 years and on the town council for 23 years, the Winsford Town Council. I'm Tom Beckett and I'm the new boy on the block. I've only done 17 years as a councillor. My service has been local, both with the trade union, where, which I've worked in, in the town with, and trade union members. I'm very familiar with the town and its difficulties and its aspects. We intend to uh, work together as a partnership. Uh, that's the way we uh, perceive the, uh, uh, our roles. And yeah, we've, and Don yeah, we've worked together for that. many years, haven't we? Yeah. And uh, worked politically together and um, as, as friends as well, and our families too, well, which is we, great. We're good team players, and that's very important in a town like ours. We also are good with the groups in the town. We, we've all been involved with the various groups, the young people and the elderly people, and we're now known right across the town. We've talked recently, haven't we, about the issues, and we had a meeting yesterday with the highways people, um, and we talked about the roads within the town and where we see as the improvements going, and... Um, we got quite a lot out of that and think we intend to do surgeries. We yes, do definitely. intend to do surgeries because we still do surgeries and we're going to um, continue those and hopefully do them in each area that we work in. We need to find the priorities and the only way we'll find the priorities is actually to go out there and talk to all the different groups, the older people, the younger people uh, and even the, uh, the people who are struggling. We will continue to get the people involved as we have done in the past. I brought people in yesterday, two meetings in the transport, uh, transport committee so that they could bring their problems to the transport committee which helped a lot and they very much appreciated that and as we are now being more invo involving people more in meetings I think that's terribly important that we do continue to bring people in and let them see for themselves how local government works. We understand that we are getting an amount of money each of us to yes. work in our areas and we intend to try, if we can, to, uh, to enlarge on that money. So we will be looking for areas where we can get help with improving that grant. And hopefully we will, in our surgeries or wherever we are, and people come to us, ring us, come to our homes. I've had one there, one at my home this morning. They will come and we will hope that they come forward with uh, ideas to use that money in our community. But and what, we we'll, listen to them. what we'll do, Pam, won't we? We'll, We'll multiply the three, the five by three, hopefully, actually, yeah. and yeah. hopefully mm. that will hopefully grow with partners' help as well. Mm. But what's equally important, I think, is that we listen to the residents out there about what they want, and we'll prioritise mm. that money and how we spend it. I think you've mentioned mm. also um, working with partners. We haven't got all the funding. We've only yeah. got a small amount. The best way to do that is to work with other partners, yeah. find other agencies who can actually deliver and have also got access to bigger pots of money and we can look at bigger picture rather than just small individual little 
uh, pots and mm. we've all worked to that in the past and yeah. we need yeah. to work even yeah. stronger at it now now that yeah. it's a big award that we both yeah. all three of us represent yeah and, and i personally think it's a very exciting time in our town because hopefully we're going to get the ver the first or new all through school with this new authority we've been working for that i've been on the education partnership now for about seven years and we've got all the heads in, the, in every school in the town. Come, they've come together. They share expertise in their schools. And um, we have uh, combined conferences with all the teachers instead of their, you know, they have their um, inset days. Yeah. Well, we have large inset days, and, and we've been having them in our civic hall. So we, we, I do hope and really hope that this comes to fruition because it will be a transformation of education in our town. What's important also, we're all town councillors in Winsford and that's an important link to the now Unity Authority that's obviously starting in April this year. We believe that, that that link is going to be very essential actually and we should strengthen that link and we'll be working towards doing that. I'd like to say that all three of us would love to be able to work with all the community, um, to be open and honest and to get through everything that's needed. I think you've always known that we are here in the community for you. We live in your, in our, in your community. We want to do our work, continue to do our work and get you involved in the community. And we want ideas from you. You know that our hearts are here in the town and uh, we will continue to serve you as you want us to. Yes, you can contact us by the website, by phone, by the council, or through the media in, in any way. And we believe that um, we're there to serve you. That's our purpose.